transforming John Glenn High School into a full-blown carnival midway. Great times, good food, and new rides. Brought to you by TCU, RV Car Company, and Polygon. Following Fest at John Glenn High School. Tell everybody they're invited, because they are. Followingfest.com. Good morning, Falcons. I'm Brandon Benwell. And I'm Hunter DuPont. And this is The View from the Falcons' Nest. Today is Friday, September 29th, 2023. Hey, freshmen. High school is all about figuring out your interest and making a plan. How many of you can get to California without Google Maps? Probably not many of you. And you won't reach your college and career goals if you don't have a high school graduation plan. Do you know which classes you plan to take, which diploma you earn, and how to complete your graduation pathways? These things matter when it comes to college. Make sure you'll be ready to apply for college. Talk to your school counselor for more information. Newly built homes in South Bend will help teenagers aging out of the foster care system. People gathered in the 800 block of Harrison Avenue for the opening of the Oasis community Thursday. This initiative will help youth become successful adults. Village to Village International spearheaded this project. The idea originated out of Illinois. O Oasis will eventually have seven duplexes, a community center, and two single family home houses. John Glenn High School will be hosting a blood drive sponsored by the National Honor Society on Thursday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. You must be at least 16 years of age to donate blood. If you're interested in signing up, please see Mr. Merrill to sign up and get the needed forms. Now to weather with Caleb. So for weather today, it's going to be, well, it's going to be kind of foggy, but it's still going to have some sun to it. Uh, temperature is going to be 60 degrees, and the air quality is going to be good. Moving into a three-day forecast, Friday, it's going to be a high of 73, partly cloudy, partly sunny, with a low of 55. Saturday, it's going to be a high of 78, partly sunny, partly cloudy, with a low of 55 once again. And Sunday, it's going to be a high of 78, properly sunny, and a low of 55 to help round out our Halloween fest. That's all for now. To the main desk with sports. A new season has begun for eSports and Indiana eSports Network. John Glenn has now moved up to Division AA and will now play larger schools. We are very excited to join a new division with more elite programs. Last season, our team experienced great success, seeing Zayden Geddes finishing in the top 10 at Kankakee Valley Open and our Rocket League team competing in state finals while finishing with a record of 13-2. and two. The club is hungry for even more success this season. The Super Smash Ultimate team completed on Wednesday against Burford Jasit High School. The match ended in a draw between the two very evenly matched teams. Kenny King was standout player in the match by single-handedly defeating two players from the op opposition to a force a draw. The SSBU team will be back in action next Wednesday against Columbia City High School. The JG Rocket League team squared off against East Chicago Central High School on Thursday night. This team has a much different look this season as they have replaced four out of the five members. Despite the turnover, the Falcons did not miss a beat, winning their first match 3-0. Captain Kane Doner and the Rocket League team will face off against Thursday against Bafu Jisu. Last night, our girls' soccer team shut out Tippecanoe Valley 4-0. They'll await a matchup with Jimtown in the sectional, which begins Thursday. Our co-ed cross-country teams will be in action tomorrow at Oxbow. The meet starts at 9 a.m. Our volleyball teams will be competing against New Prairie and Laporte. The boys soccer team will host Mishawaka. Now back to lunch with Caleb. So for lunch today, we're going to be having Fiesta de Pizza, Stromboli, Robin's Main Lettuce, Golden Corn, variety of fresh fruit, fruit, and a fresh baked cookie. That's all we have for today, Falcons. Make sure to swing by the eSports booth and pick up some corn when you're done with school. And have a great day and an amazing Halloween.